Good day, good day, good day, everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so I wanted to talk about an email response I got from somebody uh, regarding C and Fix. And uh, what I want to go over is a answer. And I usually do a video out of it so other people can learn from it. So this guy's fairly sophisticated, I gotta say. Here's his here's his queries. I wrote my own neural network MLP and C++ for spot FX trading about 20 years ago and have dabbled with my writing my own AI-based trading software ever since. Call me impressed. I've been using Java to avoid memory leaks and quick fix, but keep getting stuck at interpreting what the various fix code means. Well, welcome to the world of fix. I mean, I, I wouldn't touch fix in a million years. I'm going to give you my opinion on something. It's just complicated. It's just it's, it's really built for institutional. Um, but uh, I'll just say that. I bought Quant Elite membership a few years ago and was impressed at the amount of content, but didn't quite find what I was looking for. Do you have any tips or know of a good resources info to translate fixed terms into terms that I'm more likely to understand? Yeah, I'm going to have a solution. Hopefully for you, I'm not, can never guarantee what that solution is. Anyways, for example, uh, there were about a dozen codes that contained a number that was exactly my account balance. What's the difference between them? I don't know. <laughs> is it just that different vendors, banks use different codes for the same thing? Or does one of them, for example, have a different value based on whether an option is in or out of the money? Hmm. I don't know. Here's the only and best option I can give you. If you want to talk to this person, I believe his name is Dave. He was one of the writers on develop. You can find uh, this project on my YouTube channel. Uh, just look for fix number eight dot org. Okay, that's the name of the original project in Fix. He's Australian. Again, it's fix eight dot org. So it's Fix Eight. That's an open source project. Um, I'm looking at uh, another option here that he's gone fairly commercial. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. This is fairly expensive. Um, fix eight mt.com so again fix8mt.com is where to go um he's also got a matching engine as well he may be able to give you some guidance um i can't say yes or no on it quick fix is just another um other option for open source that might be a better resource for you i wish i could give you a better answer um but uh, that's all i can offer when it comes to fix. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I've already kind of covered it in a video a few videos ago on YouTube. But let me continue along with this. Um, this is the last paragraph. For context, I'd say more of a polymath than a pure mathematician or developer. But I have a math and finance degree, have been a full stock dev and DevOps engineer in recent years, and currently integrate accounting software with third party systems. Sounds like he's got a full-time job. So he's a hardcore developer. He's fairly advanced. Now, here's the thing. I know a lot of people that have uh, are very accomplished, um, very accomplished developers in the C world. Um, it's it's very competitive now, as you can imagine. If you're older, you got your youth against you, um, or young people against you wanting for lower wages. Um, fresh grads, da, 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 da. So a lot of these people that try to strike it out as um, indiv independent individuals, I guess, trying to make a go of the world of trading, it's challenging. I'm not going to lie. This one project they gave you looks like they're fairly successful. They've got Thomson Reuters as a customer or they work with as a partner. I don't know what that means, but that's pretty impressive to get their attention. Euronext is another one. So call me impressed with that project. I wish I could give you better options. Okay. Um, I've gone the opposite. I'm trying to simplify my life and get to quick to market with a trading idea. Now, this is what I was going to lead into. I've talked about a video or two ago about trading view. If depending upon your goal 
in the world of algo trading development, HFT. I've done a few videos very recently on this. If you're wanting to do uh, fix the protocol as a project for a career, I'd say go for it. Become a lot miles ahead of most people. And that alone will show your um, uh, drive to want to uh, succeed at, in a career doing this type of development. Do realize you got to be hardcore committed to it. It will eat your brain and it most likely will sacrifice your person. It's not a nine to five thing. I'm sure that you will be um, basically uh, working with a with a, at your desk with a pit, with a tent pitched under the desk and that's where you sleep i think that's the level of expectation you're dealing with so if that's the career you want don't let me stop you if you're trying to become an algo so-called trader uh doing this as independently and try to make money off it make a career out of it independently that is getting i mean i think it's getting easier the problem is that there's just so much useless videos out there and social media. It's just, I mean, Instagram's a, a pure demonstration of that. Um, it's it's pretty awful what's out there. And you have to be very skeptical, which makes it harder for an honest guy like me to make a go of it myself. But this is why I'm doing what I'm doing by moving into, as I said, don't be surprised, trading view. Okay, I've talked about the advantages of it. Um, one of the other big advantages of TradingView outside of the programming, I'm facing the censorship online. Um, I post certain videos on a competitor, Rumble, um, that I just don't think really would do anything for my YouTube channel. So I post on Rumble. Um, it's not bad. And same with any of the other platforms, be it anything from Meta, Twitter, LinkedIn. We're at a point where we can't trust stuff. And people are very, very skeptical. So the last bastion I found in the world of trading, um, as I said before, was Seeking Alpha. They're, they're not bad. they got a great audience, probably the best audience out there for anything trading related and learning about investing. But trying to break through that set of gatekeepers to get articles posted, not worth my time. But with TradingView, it's different. Um, I can post trading ideas. I've probably gone from 50 to now blowing past 104 followers, not a lot, but I am adding quite a few number of followers each and every day is based upon my trading ideas. And because of that, it encourages me to now start to go all in with live trading, as I've mentioned before. From a programming perspective, it's a lot easier to deal with. And as I said, you can trade under one minute. So if you're wanting to simplify your life with everything there and all you're doing is just focusing on your trading idea, Take a look at TradingView and start looking at PineScript. The reason I suggest that and the big plus that I've not seen any other retail trading platform, I'm not trying to advertise for TradingView, but um, the big advantages that they have is that you can trade under a minute and work with the data for under a minute for almost nothing on the data front, on the, on the market data front. So the question becomes, you know, if you're going to kill a fly, why would you use a sledgehammer, right? There's, there are people that have that mentality. Let them, let them, let them think that they'll beat the market. Let them that they'll, you know, be driving a Lamborghini in a month. That's fine. But you really want to do well. You got to, you got to simplify your life and cut as much BS out there, including all your infrastructure, all your coding for infrastructure, maintaining it. And then once you build that, now you got to start working on a trading idea. So instead, you want to get quick to market, you've got to use something like TradingView where all the uh, heavy lifting is done for you, the data, the charting, the storage of your strategy, your connections into the market. It just doesn't make sense to use anything but. So that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm doing. I'm building out my little profile on TradingView as well. Um, this is where I'm, I'm going. This is where I'm building a future out of now um now this is where i put on my little marketing hat here um what i am doing now is i've i'm i'm i still have all my legacy uh content out there on my membership as as you heard uh quant elite membership uh impressed with the amount of content uh, that goes up back 10 plus years but 
that's all fine and good for the time uh, when the development was there. We're entering into a very, very different environment now. Market, trading, and even just to live, just to economics and survive what we're facing. I've watched enough videos now to know that we are probably facing the mother of all bubbles of debt, as they call it, the mother of all bubbles. Okay, We're leading towards a very bad economic time. So we're not in a position to diddle dial here and diddle dial there. People are losing jobs because of AI. For people like myself, I'm I'm getting some big benefit out of AI through my content, through my images, the, even the coding. There's benefit there. But we are not in a path now where we can just pussyfoot around to get stuff done. People are losing jobs because of this AI and and now it's not just losing a job, you're losing your career. So you can't fool around with all this stuff anymore. You, If you want to get into the markets and make a, a living and somewhat survive and build wealth, the only place is the markets, and namely it's the equity market. I just put up a video on Rumble today about how now my federal government is putting me through a test when I've been a client of Kraken and Coinbase for at least three years, and I've been fairly successful as a crypto trader, I actually survived and, and got by two years ago from the proceeds of my trading on crypto. So now I'm letting some uh, unmentionable at a government level to, to let me know if I'm worthy to trade crypto based upon their questions. If I fail that questionnaire, I probably will lose my access to my trading view account or sorry, my uh, Kraken account and never be able to trade cr crypto in Canada anymore. This is the world we're moving towards. And I know I'm not happy about it. That's why I made a more detailed video on my rumble on it. So as I said, if you want, you know my email, opt into that because the walls are closing in on a lot of people. Um, and as I said, people are losing their careers no matter where you're at with this AI nonsense. I can sit here and complain about it. But truth be told, um, they will not, I, 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 I don't know, I, I, I hope not. If they start messing around with the stock market and the ETF market, those people in control are basically slitting their own throat, their own potential prosperity. So from my perspective, I don't think they'll monkey around with the stock market and ETF and the traditional markets that we know of. But will they get try to get rid of crypto? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, because it's a real threat to them. They can't control it and so on and so forth. They don't want people to be independent. They don't want people to be um, have an other alternative opportunity. That's a definite. So when it comes to all this, you need to be able to get trading ideas implemented, coded up quickly, very quickly. Um, we're going to be entering into a time of super volatility as more participants drop off the market. I personally think that trading volume will probably drop and that will make markets much more volatile. So it'll be less trend in the market. Um, as because of that, you can't sit around and just, as I said, pussyfoot on trading ideas and coding and blah, 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 blah. This is why you need to be on something like TradingView to be able to implement and just get it up and running and bang out strategies and trading ideas as quick as possible. I can do it fairly quickly now with PineScript. Um, and that's why I'm building the Quant, Quant Leap membership built around because of that, because of trading view um, for a number of reasons. I just don't think the future will be in independent trading as we know it, um, especially on the crypto front with what I just gave you as an example of what my government's doing at the federal level. Um, so be aware. Um, and all these other fancy languages and stuff. Um, over time, I think the AI is going to be very advanced, especially when it comes to the machine learning and AI. It'll what they will call self-adapt. And a lot of these trading strategies will self-adapt and build its own code. I've seen demos of it, like, but we're talking mm, probably 10 years ago. Uh, but I can't imagine where it's at now. So you've got to be able to bang out code as quick as possible. And uh, yeah, beat you with trading view. But everybody does builds their own path. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I'm just giving you uh, the reality that I'm seeing. And uh, 
all I can say is thanks to Trading View for it being out there um, as well. So that's what my Quant Leap membership is building, being built around. I'll put the link in for my newest uh, sales page for it. Um, and that, and just, I mean, I don't want to, well, let me pitch it here. It's four ninety nine dollars for one year now. A couple of months ago, I gave four ninety nine dollars lifetime. It's four ninety nine, four ninety seven dollars for one year. I'll be shortening that and making it go monthly after that. So it'll be kind of like an initiative, an initiation, kind of like if you join a a, 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 a golf course, what do they call them, those golf course, like uh, clubhouse kind of arrangement. Also, um, I will and do have an offer there. If you do want the lifetime, it's now double, 990, uh, 997 for lifetime access because I've seen quite a few um, uh, quite a few uh, options out there, like one-tenth of what I'm offering um, and, and building out my trading view profile on at the same time. Uh, so there's a lot more value for a lot less of the price. So um that's where we're at so it's 997 for lifetime net right now it's just double from a few months ago and that's what's that and that's all i can tell you um and trading views the future i think when it comes to automated trading more and more people are moving to it more and more posts i see more and more uh youtube videos it's all a lot of it's being built around you uh trading view now so you might want to consider it just my thoughts i would give better news but that again that's the new reality we're with other than that, thanks for watching. Have a good day.